All right, we're in the Bridger Range, um, actually north end of Bridger Bowl, base of the apron. Uh, you can see a good sized pile of wet avalanche debris just behind me. Uh, this slide likely failed Monday, maybe Tuesday, when it was raining up to the ridgetops uh, here in the Bridger Range. But yesterday a cold front came through and really impacted the, uh, the snowpack across the forecast area. We got about eight inches of new snow here in the Bridgers, an inch of water. Um, seeing this, this is, seems pretty standard across the area. Cook City, I know we have um, one to two feet of snow at upper elevations. But the bottom line is it's springtime. The snowpack is still in transition. We have new snow, which is gonna be problematic as soon as conditions change. Uh, Friday, Saturday looks to be um, sunny and if this if this new snow gets any direct sun it's going to loosen up quickly and create wet snow avalanches and we still have a dry snow avalanche hazard in upper elevation terrain um, you know specifically above 9,000 feet so you really want to look out for that so it is springtime we have a variety of avalanche problems to look out for and this time of year can be great to to uh, try and hit larger objectives, you know, couars, big uh, alpine terrain, but um, you really need to be mindful that stability can change quickly. Uh, it could be stable in the morning, um, unstable in the afternoon. So this time of year, you just need to assess the snowpack carefully and really make um, information-based decisions before you commit to avalanche terrain, because we still have Avalanche season is not over yet, and we're going to continue to see avalanches uh, for a while yet.